Hey guys, DC Network here, coming at you with another video. So a little while ago, I discussed how there's nothing really going on with Dragon Ball right now, you know? It's been a while since the Broly movie came out, and there's no indications on what's next for the franchise. Going forward, personally, I just want them to stick to movies for a little while, and I actually have an idea for how they could introduce Cooler into the canon via a movie. So here's my idea. What if Cooler hates Frieza? Cooler's literally searching the galaxy to find Frieza so he could kill him or beat him up or whatever. And basically, Cooler finds out, hey, Frieza's on Earth. Let me go Let me go to Earth and let me fight this guy. So Frieza and Cooler, they fight, and basically Frieza is on the brink of death. Cooler has this brand new form that's stronger than Frieza Gold, it's stronger than Super Saiyan Blue, and Frieza's about to die, so he contacts Goku and Vegeta for help. And Vegeta, of course, is going to be reluctant to help Frieza because he destroyed the Saiyan race. But on the other hand, Goku's going to want to help because he's like, hey, this guy Cooler sounds pretty strong. I want to fight him. So Goku and Vegeta go to assist Frieza. And it turns out that Cooler's stronger than them. Cooler's new form is stronger than Super Saiyan Blue, like I said before. So basically, Vegeta and Goku are struggling to find a way to beat this guy. So then Goku informs Vegeta, hey, I've been working on something new. I've been working on a new form that takes some Ultra Instinct energy and combines it with Super Saiyan Blue. Hence the introduction of a new Super Saiyan form. For argument's sake, let's just call it Super Saiyan Green. It could be any color of the rainbow, it really doesn't matter. But like I said, for argument's sake, let's just call it Super Saiyan Green. So Goku unlocks Super Saiyan Green, defeats Cooler, and that is the end of the movie. I think this would be a really cool way, no pun intended, to introduce Cooler into the canon. The reason why is because I feel like this creates a completely different dynamic than what we saw before with Cooler. If I remember correctly, in the prior Cooler movies, he's coming to Earth to avenge Frieza's death. He wants to kill Goku, the person who killed his brother. But in my variation of this movie, Cooler, on the other hand, hates Frieza. He wants to kill him himself, so I think it would be a really cool dynamic to see. And also, I feel like this makes sense because going forward, my personal opinion is Frieza, Goku, and Vegeta, they're not going to become friends, but I feel like Frieza's going to be more willing to help Goku and Vegeta going forward. I feel like there's going to be universal threats and these huge threats coming that basically they need Frieza's help and Frieza's going to, whether he wants to or not, need to help Goku and Vegeta fight these new threats. So that's why I think that makes sense as well, because this way basically Goku and Vegeta are helping Frieza, so then going forward we'll see more Frieza, Goku, and Vegeta teaming up like we saw in the Broly movie to an extent. I know Frieza tries to betray them at one point, and like we see in the universe survival arc. But anyways, yeah, like I said before, I think this is a really cool idea for how to reintroduce Cooler into the canon. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys like my idea, if you hate it, if you don't want to see Cooler into the canon, or if you have your own idea of your own. Also, if you guys do like this video, let me know, because I have an idea for how they could introduce new androids into the canon via a movie, so maybe I'll make that a video one day if you guys like this one. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.